in some areas we get plenty of sunlight and high amount of rainfall so there are a large number of trees that grow there such areas are called the forests and then there are areas where the rainfall is low in such areas vast structure of grasses are present with a very few lonely trees here and there these are called the grasslands and then there are areas where the rainfall is very low in such dry regions only small thorny plants grow these are called the shrub thus we have three types of natural vegetations in india the forests and the grasslands and the shrubs now let's learn about the world distribution of natural vegetation here it is divided into 10 types they are tropical evergreen forest temperate evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean forest desert vegetation tropical grasslands temperate grasslands coniferous forest and tundra vegetation but in this session we are just learning about six type of vegetation they are the tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest temperate evergreen forest temperate deciduous forest mediterranean forest and coniferous forests the first one is the tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forests are also called tropical rain forest are usually found in areas which are hot and receive heavy rainfall these are found primarily in south and central america west and central africa and parts of southeast asia and tropical australia they are found mostly near the equator and the tropics these forests are dense and multi layered they harbor many types of trees and shrubs the trees are mostly tall with an average height of more than 60 meter there is a thick undergrowth of plants and creepers of various heights due to heavy rainfall these forests have a dense canopy of trees which do not allow enough sunlight to reach the ground hence there is no carpet layer of grasses in these forests the trees in these forests do not have a fixed time to shed their leaves thus these forests remain green all around the year and are referred to as evergreen forests the main varieties of trees found in these forests include ebony rosewood and mahogany these forests are rich in wildlife chimpanzees rhinoceros gorillas elephants deer leopards and bears inhabit these forests among other animals second one is the tropical deciduous forest they are also known as tropical monsoon forest these forests receive seasonal rainfall which is lesser than the rainfall received by the tropical evergreen forest but the temperatures remain high throughout the year during the rainy season they have a canopy of branches leaves and vines which shades for the forest floor but in the dry season when there is a acute shortage of water they usually shed their leaves to conserve water this allows the sunlight to reach the ground but each plant species has its own type of shedding leaves as a result these forests never look completely bare at any time of the year teak sal bamboo sandalwood rosewood and ebony are some examples of trees found in these forests they are also commercially the most exploited forest their wood is used for construction making railway sleepers and carriages furniture bridges ship building etc apart from providing timber they also provide sandalwood which is very expensive and rare and has a great demand the world over these forests are found in the monsoon regions of asia central america and northern australia these forests have variety of animals and birds like the wild animals include elephants leopards lions tigers langurs monkeys and rhinoceros it also has a rich and colorful bird life peacocks pigeons and geese are examples of some birds commonly found here third one is the temperate evergreen forest they are found between the mid latitudinal coastal regions that experience moderate climate these forests receive heavy rainfall in winters while the summers are relatively dry oak pine and eucalyptus are some examples of trees found in these forests 
they are located along the southeastern boundaries of countries like the united states of america china and brazil there is not much wildlife in these forests cattle pigs and sheep are common animals found here fourth one is the temperate deciduous forest they grow in higher latitudes these regions have moderate temperature and rainfall during the dry season the trees in these forests shed their leaves and give the forest a look of vast grassland with leafless trees the season when these trees shed their leaves is known as autumn or fall common trees of these forests are poplar oak ash maple and beech these are found in northeastern usa northeastern china japan new zealand and southern parts of chile animals like deer wolves foxes beavers and monals are found here and the fifth one is mediterranean forest mediterranean climate is characterized by wet mild winters and warm dry summers the rainfall occurs mostly during the winter season and there can be many dry months sometimes storms are experienced in summers forest fires are very common in these regions due to drought like conditions in summers mediterranean plants are often adapted to conserve water and to survive summer drought mediterranean forests include different vegetation types like woodland shrublands and grasslands orchids beeches oaks and pines are the main trees found here these regions are also called the orchards of the world for their fruit cultivation Citrus fruits like orange, lemon, grapefruit and lime are grown in these regions. Grapes, figs and olives are other fruits cultivated in these regions. California in the United States of America, Southwest Africa, Southwest Australia and Central Chile in South America have this type of forest. Hedgehogs, cheetahs, grey wolves, black bears, pumas, wild boars and rabbits are some of the important animals found in these forests. Birds like common cuckoos, woodpeckers, falcons, golden eagles, black vultures and kites are also found in these regions. And the sixth type of forest is coniferous forest. They are also known as taiga forest. In winters, the temperatures in these regions can drop to as low as 50 degrees Celsius. This region experiences heavy snowfall during winters. Coniferous trees bear cones and have narrow needle like leaves which protect them from the winter snow the branches of these trees bend towards to allow the snow to slide off easily summers are comparatively milder many birds migrate to these regions during the summers evergreen trees like pine fir cedar and spruce are common here coniferous trees provide softwood which is used to manufacture pulp used for making paper and newsprint match sticks furniture plywood sports goods and packing boxes are some other products manufactured with the softwood of coniferous trees it stretches around the earth from western alaska to eastern siberia wildlife is not abundant in taiga forest due to the harsh cold winters and limited food sources animals like bears hibernate and birds migrate to warmer places during the winter months Animals like squirrels, hares, raccoons, polar bears, silver foxes and minks are found here. Fur farming is very common in countries like Canada. The fur trade is a worldwide industry dealing in the sale of animal fur. However, these days many people are aware of the cruelty involved against animals in manufacturing fur garments. One such initiative against the fur trade throughout the United Kingdom is CAFT means the coalition to abolish fur trade the key goal of such campaigns is to ban fur farming and close down this industry to save the lives of animals so children this is all about the types of the forest now this is the end of our session